This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vivian and I'm a makeup hoarder. Hey guys, so. So I wanna go ahead and do a declutter cause why not? Everyone else has been doing them, I enjoy them and honestly I need to do that. But one thing I've never tackled and because I don't want to deal with this mammoth is eyeshadow palettes. I have too many. The majority of my background is palettes. You can't really see it right now, but I have palettes over here and this little thingy. I got palettes over, can't really even see it, over here. And then I have palettes over here, here, and all in my lap. Yeah. That's from my second drawer over there that has a lot of miscellaneous makeup. And I have some in my little drawer right here. Wow, Vivian. Okay, so I want to give y'all an idea of how many palettes we're going to be going through. So here's a bunch of palettes in this little basket. I have some right here. Um... My color pop ones there. My other palettes here. And yeah, this is the behemoth we're about to deal with. Okay, so let's go with this first. This is the Violet Voss Essentials palette. I've never played with it. I'm not a huge fan of Violet Voss palettes. I had the Holy Grail palette, I believe, a while ago. I got in a boxy charm and I gave that to my cousin. Um, because I think she would have enjoyed it more than I would have, but I don't know, I just, these colors don't speak to me. So I'm gonna see if I'm able to give this to a friend or, um, if I can donate it. I'm just gonna start putting eyeshadow palettes in it that I'm going to end up not keeping from Glam Hour, or maybe that's the palette's name, or, I, I don't really know. But I got this as a gift um, from Frida, and I love this palette. I think it's so pretty. Like, it has just the... Oh, hold on. Like, it's kind of washed out. Let me see if I... It's just got really pretty rosy colors. I love this so much that, like, I would use this for prom. I was going to use this almost for a girl's makeup I was going to do for prom, but I love this palette. So I am definitely keeping this palette. I really don't know how I should angle myself in this. I feel like this is going to be a really good a good declutter, honestly. So this is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. It's got the cutest packaging. But the colors just are not my cup of tea. They're just not vibrant to me. They're just, it's just not that uh, interesting for me. I really never even picked it up. Uh, it's aesthetically cute and adorable, but I, I can't make that a valuable <sighs> this is gonna be hard i'm gonna give that to a good home okay the next one is the milani soft and sultry palette i love this palette cool tone oh, yes ma'am i love this i can't i'm not getting rid of this like <sighs> nope that's staying it's one of my favorite cool tone palettes to grab especially in the fall because i do a really simple look with that and this one lip combo that i'm obsessed with and it's just oh, love it i think i have a video using this so if i do i'll like link it down below if you're interested you don't have to watch it if you don't want to i'm trying okay i'm not the greatest at this but i'm gonna try to link videos that i've made if I've made a video with a specific palette. So like if you're interested, you know, like you can check it out if you want. Just to see like how did I use it or if I like it or whatever. The next one is the Milani Pure Passion. This one I'm kind of torn on. I bought it and it's a very warm palette. Nice for the fall. I'm not in love with it. I love my Soft and Sultry way more than this one. I feel like I struggle with it because sometimes I don't do very well with really dark eye looks. Um, sometimes I feel like I make it too muddy and then it doesn't look as good. So that's going to go in the maybe. Next one is this BoxyCharm Hello Charmer palette. It's brand new. I got it in this like 
newest boxy looks or whatever. So I have not touched this at all. But these are the colors in the palette. I thought about just going ahead and just giving it to somebody, but I don't know. I might, I might try it. I'll give it a try. We'll see if it's good, because this is like an actual boxy charm palette. It's like from the company, so we'll see if it's even good. Laura Lee Party Animal. This was in a boxy charm a long time ago. I don't know. I don't personally watch her. I never have watched her. Um, I really didn't watch any makeup artists whenever I got into makeup. I know a lot of people like watched her when they were getting into makeup and stuff, but I never really watched her. I didn't have anything against her. I just didn't watch her videos. Um, and this was like her first colorful little palette and then you know shit hit the fan so then it was kind of like can't really support this little palette my dilemma is I actually kind of like the top row in this at the time I made a rainbow look with this and I really love the look I came out with I still love it um but I did this and um I didn't own any colorful eyeshadows at the time this was the only thing I had that was colorful so I kept it around to try to use it I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I don't know. I love that top row because I just, I love the top row. The bottom row, the pink and the purple are shit. I don't like those. But the orange is pretty too. It's very vibrant because it's like a neon. And I would only keep it for, actually I could depot those. I might. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that one. Blonde Comb Palette. I have no idea what the name of this palette is. But I just noticed that they have like these little bubbles on the top. That look like when something expires. <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't know what. I'll put that in the maybe. I'm not sure. I like the colors a lot though. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is a very basic palette. Very, very simple, um, very unpigmented. Not a huge fan of the pigmentation on this one. I never really reached for this other than the shade Pearl. I remember when I first started doing makeup videos and stuff, I would grab Pearl as an inner corner highlight. But that was about it. I'm going to donate this. Buff Collection. This is old. I need to just throw this out, man. But it is like a dupe of the naked palette. I like the packaging because it's tin. I'm gonna throw this out. The Tartlet palette. Oh my gosh. This is old. This is like, mm, I think this is like my first palette. It's my first palette and I think my mom bought it for me. It's a bunch of basic kind of cool tone neutrals and I wore the shit out of this makeup palette. I loved it. I still kind of do. I know people hate Tarte and honestly I'm not a huge fan of a lot of their stuff either but this palette I really liked. Oh my gosh you know what? You know I think I knew who got me into makeup and it was um Cutie Pie Marcia. Ma Marcia. Um She's PewDiePie's, like, I think they're married now. I don't know. I haven't watched her in forever. But when I was little, I used to watch her all the time because I loved her wings. So I always watched her tutorial on how to do a wing eyeliner. And she was, like, one of the Tartlet representatives, like, the women who were a part of this. And I think she was, like, the Wanderer shade or something. But, like, each name on this had a different woman who was, like, you know, representing it and stuff, and I think she was either Dreamer or Wanderer, I can't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's who got me into makeup, now that I finally remember it. But I'm going to keep this palette because I just can't part with it. I can't. I can't part with it. The Pure Festival palette, I got this in a BoxyCharm. The majority of these palettes here are going to be from a BoxyCharm because that's what I subscribed to when I first started getting into makeup when, because it was an affordable way for me to kind of um, start building my collection because I didn't have a lot of money <laughs> and my parents were really sweet and they paid for my subscription because I don't think I was making money at the time and then once I started having a job 
like once I was old enough, once enough, once I was old enough to have a job, I started paying for the subscription on my own. But um, yeah, so this is what really kind of built it up for me. I'm not a huge fan of this palette. I made a look with it. I tried the glitters. I don't like glitter. I don't. It doesn't like me. I think it's pretty. I've tried to make it work, but it's just got beef with me that like we just can't settle. And you know, it just has one pop of neon and I have this shade in like three palettes for real and the purple is not that good but everything else is pretty basic on it so I'm gonna donate this because I'm not gonna miss it honestly but I did think it was cool that supposedly it has an ingredient in there that is like a blue light blocker um you know like that's the craze nowadays these are studio makeup on the go eyeshadow palettes and I think I'm just gonna donate these but this was the palette warm up, which was a very basic palette, very simple. This was like a cool toned one called Cool Down, and I did not be appreciate it as much as I should have. Looking back, this is a really pretty cool toned palette. I love it, but back then I did not know how to use cool tones, let alone put a look together. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Oh wait, this is kind of pretty. Oh no. Oh shit, am I going to keep this? Ah, this is pretty. Hold on. I think I'm going to get rid of the warm up one, but I'm going to keep the cool toned one. I should be getting rid of both, but I really like that cool tone. Look at those. <sighs> pretty vulgar. The Nightingale palettes. So this actually had some pretty cool shades in it. Um... I don't like the black shade at all in this. I think it is way too patchy. Clutch though is a really pretty, so, oh, this is another cool tone palette. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. I don't know what it is. I love a good cool tone. The black kind of shades in this palette are not that great, honestly. This shade's not that great. All Nighter's not that great. Min After Midnight's not too bad, but the browns in here are kind of the showstoppers. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I was kind of like, oh, get rid of it. But then I forgot the shades that are actually in it. <sighs> Vivian, you have to let this shit go. <laughs> okay, Crown Pro Glam Metals palette. This, I never touched. I'm going to donate this. Real Her Shadow Palette Do Your Squats. This was like the com most confusing palette to me because of the name. And again, it's kind of like a neutrally kind of cool toned palette. I already know it so I'm just gonna donate that one. This I'm getting rid of already. I already know this. I'm not even gonna donate this. I'm just gonna toss it. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette and some people liked it. They were doing like, like I saw a lot of people who um, are like our Instagram influencers who were making videos using this and they were like, oh my god I love it. Da, da, da. Which maybe they did love it but I personally feel like they got paid to say this was good or they were persuaded in being paid to try this or something I don't know I don't like that eyeshadows whatsoever there's only one matte shade and the rest of these are shimmer I strongly dislike that palette and I feel like that palette kind of set the course for me to start disliking BoxyCharm because I feel like after that palette or that box, I feel like they kind of went a little downhill. And that, again, is a personal preference of mine. A pers like, I think that. So if you don't think that, that's fine. But I I think that. Nubian 2 by Juvius. I like this palette. I will not get rid of this palette because one, I love how affordable and how big these pans are. And I just love the colors. You know, it's old. But the Alice through the looking glass. Oh god, this was such a good palette. Oh, I was obsessed with Alice in Wonderland and the palette itself. Just, oh. Uh. I use Dormouse a lot in Reflection. I used to wear that a lot and put Kingdom or Royal Flesh. There weren't a lot of tutorials on this because I really had no idea how to do eyeshadow. So I would look at tutorials, especially with this, to see if anyone would come up with anything. And I got nothing. And I ended up actually making a video with this. Um, I think it's on my old channel. 
Yeah, I think it is. I try to make like a caterpillar inspired look with this palette. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Now this is something my mom bought me a few years ago and it was like the Tarte, uh, it was a Christmas collection. I don't know what it was called, but like it opens up like this. Some of the shades in here are actually really good. I haven't tried the lip paints because I'm not a huge fan of the lip paints. Um, I should probably try that mascara or the eyeliner, but um, I don't mind the bronzer too much. It's a little orange, so I don't really use that, or the highlighter, or the blushes on the side. But the palette itself has some nice colors, like this brooch, and gems, and majestic, and joyous, and I think palatial. Really beautiful colors. Like, this is actually a good little palette. Um, it's a good one, I feel like, for someone who just wants to, like, start out in makeup. Which I feel like is kind of like Tarte's main demographic. Because if you notice, a lot of their stuff kind of looks the same. And it's more so like beginner y. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This big old thing right here. Oh boy. These revealed Coastal Scents palettes. I had the revealed Smoky. I don't know how I got this. Maybe it was in a boxy charm at one point. The revealed Smoky. And then the revealed 3 palette. These are being thrown away. Like, this is. No. <laughs> uh, this is Protégé by Suva Beauty. Um, ooh, I totally forgot about this palette. It's kind of got cool and warm tones. Um, I don't think I ever played with this palette. It just didn't... It didn't entice me. Mm, no, I'm gonna donate this. So, I got this Measurable Difference Concealer Collection, and it was a pro palette like this. Um, I'm just tossing this out. That's not an actual eyeshadow palette, but it was over here. I'm just throwing it away. I've got the Anastasia Prism palette, which I'm going to keep. I like this palette. I got it at Marshall's. And then I got this as a graduation gift, the Modern Renaissance. I've been trying so hard to get it, and it was sold out all the time. Now I have it, and I'm not getting rid of it. I feel like that was pretty selfie. Like, I, I feel like that was pretty obvious I was going to keep that one. As for the Sassy Siennas by Dose of Colors, which is on my eyes, I made a look. I did a video on this look using this palette, so I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but if I upload it before this video, I'll put it somewhere for you to click if you want to watch it. The Sweet Peach palette, oh my gosh. This was my second palette I ever bought from Too Faced, and... I think it's a good palette. I like it. I would rec I, I would give this to somebody who was new, but I'm gonna keep it because I, I like it. <laughs> and I thought about actually bringing it out. It was either gonna be that dose of colors or this uh, sweet peach palette that I was going to do a look with. Um, but I ended up trying the dose of colors because I had never tried it before. But I do like the Sweet Peach palette, so I'm going to keep it. Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors. The Desi X Katie palette I'm keeping. Oh lord, this is like the first BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette. It was a collaboration with Pure. Didn't like it, didn't play with it. I swatched it. That's about it. I'm going to donate that. Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. I should have just donated this when I first opened it because I wasn't a fan. Um, does that mean the quality's bad? No. I'm gonna donate this. Oh my god, I love this palette. The Alomar Cosmetics Reina de Caribe. The first one. Oh my god. I'm not, you can't pry this out of my hands. This is the prettiest palette. Like when I got this in Boxy and my Boxy Charm, oh my god. I had never loved Boxy Charm so much. Like this is beautiful. The shades in here are just absolutely stunning. I can't, I can't, <sighs> this is beautiful. If you don't have this, get this. You need this. It's like my favorite summer palette. I just, oh, I love Alamar Cosmetics. Like, I just, I love them so much. Now the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This was my first palette I bought from Tarte, or Too Faced. And it's a cool tone palette, and I still love it. It still smells like chocolate. still smells really good. I love the shades in it. I've used this 
so many times when I was brand new, I would use this all the freaking time on my eyes, like molasses chip. Again, I followed the instructions that came with it, like it gives you like a little packet. It's like, here's like two looks or whatever, like a day and a night look. I never did the night one, but I would watch tutorials on this one too. And people would use molasses chip a lot, which was this shade right here. And it is really pretty. It's probably not as vibrant as it once was, but I can't get rid of this palette. Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. This was the first palette I bought from his company and I like it. I like the military shade. I actually don't reach for this a lot. I just thought it was really pretty and I liked how he said the shade Safe Word was a really good contour shade for fair skin. And I think that's why I really bought it was I was really intrigued on it, which I would have to agree. I need to use this again as I, you know what, let's put it on right now. I'm, I'm going to keep this because the Nubian by Juvia's Place, oh my gosh, this is such a good little beginner palette, especially if you don't want to spend too much. Um, I don't really reach for this a whole lot. I've made some really pretty fall looks with this one as well. The mattes blend so well with Juvia's Place. I'm not going to get rid of this. Like, I can, I can, I can, I can. Okay, the, okay. I know people don't really care for pure cosmetics, but I feel like they're low-key underrated. Personal preference. Or personal opinion, okay? This palette here, the Soiree Diaries, I had a video up of this. It's probably on this channel, I think. And I loved this palette. I would wear it all the time. And like I, it was like summertime when I got it and my skin was like really tan and stuff. And I really enjoyed it. I would wear that twinkle shade all the time. This is a good palette, personally. I think it's really nice. It's got nice little transitions up here. Then your deeper tones here. And then you have your shimmery tones. And it looks a little cool on the camera, but I promise you it's not. It's pretty warm. It's, it's a pretty warm, like these are warm. These are warm shades, so I don't know why it's kind of looking that way on the camera. But, oh my god, I loved it. And I loved how, like, it was kind of in order. Like, here's a look, here's a look, here's a look, here's a look. look. So, yeah. I'm keeping this. Wow! Okay, I did get rid of some, though. Look, look at that. This is definitely going in the trash. This is the I Heart Revolution Starry Eyed Palette in East Thresh. I don't like that. Hard. These are my ColourPop palettes, okay? They're right here. Main Squeeze. I really love the Like It's Hot shade and Froze. Those are beautiful. Freaking love them. Not gonna get rid of this. Y'all know I'm not getting rid of this palette. I can, mm -mm. This palette is probably the best palette they've ever came out with. Like, this is the happiest purchase I think I've made. Um, the California Love palette, I'm not as much in love with. I bought it because everyone was like, or ColourPop said this was the sister palette to um, Sweet Talk. I don't know. I like bronzy eye looks. I love them. But I feel like they look weird on me. And I feel like maybe that's why I'm not so much in love with it. But the formula is great. I love it. You had me at hello. I, every time I look at it, I just couldn't figure out a makeup look to make with this. Which sounds silly, but for real, like, I just didn't. I'll donate this. The Dream Street palette. I like this one a lot. I gave it a bur as a Christmas gift to one of my friends. And I really like it. Very pretty, everyday looks. Huda Beauty New Nude palette. This I can't get rid of because it was too fucking expensive for me to throw away. <laughs> I do love the colors. I like the color scheme. This is kind of like my favorite color scheme of a palette. This is the... 15 in Night Master Morphe palette. This is the crappiest Morphe palette I think I've ever had in my entire life. The shades are shit. When I tell you shit, I'm not even joking. The, like the the sh the mattes were okay, okay? But the shimmers hor like horrible, horrible. They were not pigmented whatsoever. I absolutely hate this palette. I hate it. I'm just throwing it away. I hate that palette. This is my Morphe 350 palette. I remember when I went to buy this, I actually meant to buy the 350... What was it? 
like S or something. I don't know. It was like the second one to this because I remember like Nikki Tutorials or whatever. She was like raving about it and then other people were raving about it. I ended up buying the wrong one. I bought the original. Now, I did like this palette for a good bit. Um, the shimmers aren't too bad in it. They're nice. And the mattes, you know, there's a lot of mattes. It's a lot of selection. But I don't ever reach for this anymore. And... I don't know. Maybe I'll see if anybody wants this palette. I don't want it anymore. I just, I feel like I have so many warm toned eyeshadows in my palette or in my collection. Like, it doesn't make any sense to keep that one. Now, this Butter London uh, palette is pretty. It's really pretty. I like the, the look of it and everything. It's cute. I like the bamboo stuff. It's real cute. But I don't, mm -mm, never interested in playing with this. I might see if my mom might want it. So I have the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. I really like the shades. I really love this Eternal Light one. Not throwing this away. Okay, Alyssa Edwards, Miss Ma'am. I love the look I made with this palette so freaking much. And I can't, I'm not going to get rid of it. Nope, 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 nope. So this is Storybook Cosmetics Briar, Little Briar Rose. I've never had a... I've never had a storybook cosmetics palette before, so this was kind of cool to have where it's like a little book, you know? Um, but I actually do like the shades in here. I think they're very pretty. The spindle shade and Briar Rose perform very well. The shimmers are pretty crazy, honestly. Like, very pigmented. I like these a lot, so I'm not going to get rid of this palette, although I don't, like, play with it a whole lot, but I should. This thing, it used to... It still kind of has a scent. It's like a strawberry squishy donut and I bought it because I was, I'm still kind of obsessed. But I like squishies. I don't own any but I really love them and I watch like Mariah Elizabeth and she does like transformations on squishies and stuff so it's mostly why I bought it. But this palette is not that great. That Colourpop Red palette I have is literally this thing but way better so I'm just going to throw that out. Bare Necessities palette by Colourpop. I'm keeping this. I really freaking love that silk teddy shade so much. Ooh, I love it. This is a good palette. I like it and I want to use that palette on other people. The Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette is really bougie in a way. Like the mirror is huge. Personally, I get it. Like, oh, your whole face fits. You can do your eye makeup and you know, like it, it looks great and so sleek. And yes, it looks nice, but for me, I kind of have carpal tunnel in my hands. And yes, this is kind of like a very, it's a heavy weighted palette, but I can't imagine holding this palette and doing your makeup. Like, your wrist is going to kill you. My wrist is killing me on I, when I did it the one time, so I just keep it laying on, on the table or on my lap. Intention when I bought this palette was to use it for clients. And that's what I have done with it. I'm not getting rid of this because this is really new and I'm meant to get it for clients. But I'm not in love with that palette. But I don't think it's a bad palette. Natasha Denona Biba palette. I love this palette. My brother got it for me. I'm not getting rid of this. It's so great. The Carity Picante palette is... Uh, this was also a gift and I love it very much. I think it's a beautiful fall palette. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are pretty too, but I freaking love the mattes in this palette, so I'm keeping it. Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Okay, so this is like the one that was like new after they um, changed everything. And um, so I don't, I've never known what the original palette was like. And so after watching that video though, seeing that there really were significant differences in the eyeshadows, I feel like now I'm not too crazy because um, whenever I went to buy this palette and I swatched it, I was like, okay, these aren't bad, but like these mattes are just not significantly like life-changing, you know? So I know that has to do with the formula change because these aren't very impressive to me, but I did buy this because... I was trying to find, this was when I was trying to find a palette that would work well with client makeup that kind of had everything because I was balling on a budget but I wanted to have a good array of colors and I did use this palette to make 
a um, prom look on one of my clients. Oh my god, it was beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it around for client makeup. Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I was one of the people who got it on the very first go, so that was kind of cool. I bought this because I did not own a single red in my pa in my collection, like at all. So this is why I got this palette. It's really pretty, but it stains like crazy. So I haven't touched this in a very long time, but I am going to keep it. Oh my gosh, take me back to Brazil. I'm keeping this. This sounds horrible. I'm keeping all of these, but I guess it's because these are like my staple palettes or something. I don't know, but this is the best colorful palette I can recommend to you if you're still just kind of looking for a palette that'll be good uh, and affordable for you. This is great. And then my favorite little brand, I love them so much, GLF Cosmetics has beautiful palettes. This is my first palette I bought from them. I'm not getting rid of any of these. This is the Princessa Azteca 1 palette. Oh, guys, look how gorgeous this is. I bought it because I didn't have yellows. And I loved this shade, I loved that green, and I wanted these shades right here. These shimmers, freaking insane watch. Was that a good swatch? I don't know. These are so creamy, it's really crazy how pigmented and creamy the shimmers are. Um, I love them so much, but this is a really good palette. And then they came out with a second one, which I bought on pre-order because I was like, I have to have this. And this is the second palette. Love the top row because they're like UV neon shades. So I love that. And a lot of these are shimmers, but they're beautiful. They're beautiful shimmers. I like these a lot. And then I bought the collab they did with Jada's TV. She has beautiful looks. And this is her Unicorn Party palette. And I did do a video with this, but I do love these shades too. They're so pigmented. Like GLF just does so well with colorful eyeshadows. And that's why I love them so much. I have a lot of other products from them, but I love those. <laughs> I just have these left and we're done. These are the Wet n Wild palettes. So the shade Comfort Zone. I have the Comfort Zone palette right here. I'm actually not that big of a fan with this one. I didn't like how it really performed. A lot of these are just shimmers. But the mattes in these are pretty good. But I'm not a huge fan of this, so I'm going to toss this. Um, I had the little tiny quad one called the Silent Treatment, and it just, it didn't, it's not that good. I'm not going to throw these out. So this is the Wet n Wild Not a Basic Peach Palette. This is like one of the best ones they have. If like you're going to pick up any of them, I would recommend the Not a Basic Peach, especially for this time of the year. It's a really great palette. Like these shades here, the orange is beautiful. This one's great. This one's great. The blue is not good. Um, the shimmers. The shimmers aren't really something to be impressed with, but the mattes are really good. I love the mattes on this one. So this one was Nude Awakening, and it was like a cool tone palette, but it shattered the shade, and it kind of screwed up the rest of it. So I think I'm actually, I would say my other two favorite Wet n Wild is the Cosmic Collision and the My Glamour Squad. The My Glamour Squad is kind of like a Anastasia uh, gl Soft Glam Palette dupe. This one's actually nice. I like this one. I think it does actually a pretty good job on the shimmers and the uh, mattes. So I feel like that would be a second option if you didn't want them not a basic peach. And then the Cosmic Collision I did make an eye look with. This one has a really pretty... Um, transition shades. I love these two a lot. So I'm going to keep these three. That is it. Other than the maybes. Okay, I'm going to give the Nightingale away. I'm going to keep this Lancome one and figure out how to use this because I don't know if it's expired or not. I think what I'm going to do with this Party Animal palette is I'm going to depot these three eyeshadows and keep those. But I'm going to throw away the rest of this. I'm going to keep the Milani pure passion. We have decided to get rid of all of these. 17 palettes. I feel like I did good. <laughs> um, oh god, did I do good? Did I? Okay, I'm gonna donate this. I changed my mind, I'm gonna donate it. So that makes 18 and 19. Okay. 
Okay, so I got rid of 19 palettes. I still have a shit ton of palettes, but that is 19 less palettes I have. Okay, so I guess that's the end of this video because this was a lot to um, declutter. So I think I'll make another one if you guys want to see it. If you made it this far, thank you so much because honestly, I'm exhausted right now. And um, this needed to be done though, so pat on the back. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this though. It needed to be done. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. I'd like to know if you enjoyed this video. So if you don't want to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. If you don't want to do that, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. Because um, I got a crap ton of makeup that I need to get rid of, probably. And um, I'm being a hoarder and I'm keeping it. So I'm tired. My throat hurts. I've talked too much. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.